Well, what does it mean for you uh, to be able to share a moment like this with your sister up there? That had to be kind of kind of fun for you. It's amazing and more amazing that we uh, work on this special program. It's called Muay Thai Power. Uh, Muay Thai, Muay Thai Power Program and Muay Thai Sisters Power Program, and it's uh, like we was uh, develop it in the Black Sea coast in Russia, like in maybe 2007, 2008. During all this time, we are using it uh, for like put us in condition because uh, it's we, I did we did just a little part of this workout, but uh, when you are doing like whole workout, it's take a lot of breeze, you have to put all condition in you, so you can see I'm starting to sweat right now. So maybe I will use it for tomorrow weight cut. <laughs> Very nice. You've been a part of championship fights before. Compare the feeling. How does it feel this week versus the previous opportunities? You know, uh, of course, every experience is different because first it's different training camp, different sparring partners, different places where it uh, happens, uh, like event, and of course different uh, opponents that I have in front of me but from my side it's all the same because I preparing for each my fight with the same intensity with putting like everything like uh, pushing me to the limit every time and like I say like I said up there uh, so it will be one difference that it will be my uh, like natural weight class and I'm very happy because uh, I don't have to adjust for some for someone bigger heavier with like taller longer arms so I just will do I will be myself and I will show uh, all work everything that I know and I wonder I mean everybody knows what a big favorite you are and a lot of people are expecting you to win this fight I wonder if it's tough on you at all because I feel like if you don't go out there and destroy her in the first round people are gonna say oh she, you know she should have she should have done much better than that. Is it is it tough at all to feel like you've got to live up to some huge expectations? Uh, you know, uh, it's never like this because I know I have to win the fight. Of course, I will do everything to finish it sooner. But uh, from my side, I will do everything. I be myself, and uh, I know exactly if you are rush too much, sometimes it's uh, very bad. Can uh, it can end very bad, and uh, I just uh, like my work. It's see timing and uh, like be uh, make reactions accordingly with uh, like movement of my opponent so this is it I know exactly what people are expecting from me they want beautiful fight and I will show it the last thing for me is there any one thing that she does that you do have to be careful about because people you know think you're the, the, the more well-rounded fighter better skills but is there one thing about her that worries you or that you're concerned with uh, you know, uh, in my trainings, my coach uh, Pavel Fedotov he is preparing me for everything. So we are working on in my training camp, outside my training camp, on every single detail. What I can have, or maybe I will have it in, like on the next fight. But we are working on it. That's why nothing can uh, take me by surprise. No. Valentina, you were saying before that you weren't so sure that uh, Nico would make it to the fight. We're what, just a few days away now, do you, do you still uh, have any doubts at all that she's going to make it into the cage on Saturday? You know, I hope she will show up on the fight, but uh, we cannot say nothing like sure for sure before the very last moment. I faced it once when I was I was preparing so good, I was uh, doing like my stuff and like a few hours before the fight my opponent didn't show up. She said like, okay, I have some problem with uh, health, I cannot. So. Let's see. Is there something specific about her that makes you feel like that, or is that just every fight you won't get yourself excited until the day of? Uh, a little bit more from her because uh, for uh, some fighters, they are like, if they are saying something, they are continue with their words. And if say I will fight, and it has to be, it had to be happen something big uh, for not um, for them not show up on the fight. But uh, like her, she already was saying once that she's ready for May, then she said, I'm ready for July 7, then she said, okay, I'm not ready for July 7, maybe later, so from this kind of, uh, when you are here, that yes or no, or maybe, you can you can expect the everything. The uncertainty of waiting for this fight, is that frustrating for you, not knowing when the one that comes? Uh, you know, I knew that it will happen. It will happen one day for sure. And I know that she cannot escape. She cannot jump like uh, uh, 
for me so she will face me and it was like a matter of the time and I didn't have time to be too much upset because I was uh, helping to my sister Antonina I was uh, helping her to prepare for her fight in Dana White Contender Series where she won she did great job she won her fight and get UFC contract so I did my travels I lived my life and in the same time parallel time I was like pushing uh, for make it fight happen. Right. Thank you. Thank you.